Hi, I'm Nico. I'm a senior developer at OnLab, and in this series of videos, I'm going to walk you through the process to create a Gutenberg block. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know what a Gutenberg block is, but just in case you don't know, I'm going to take 30 seconds to explain it. The WordPress community has been working on the past year or so on redesigning and internally rebuilding the editor that comes along when you install WordPress. The new editor is called Gutenberg and it will be the default editor on the next major release of WordPress, WordPress 5.0. Now this editor is based on what I call blocks. It allows you to build posts and pages by adding different types of blocks that you can customize and drag and drop around and you can build the structure that you need with them. Some of the blocks that come right out of the box are headings and paragraphs and images and image galleries and videos, code snippets, buttons and many many more. Now this of course opens up endless possibilities for us to develop our own custom blocks. Gutenberg provides APIs on both the PHP world and the JS world that we can use to create the blocks and that is what we're going to do in this series of videos. This is going to be the first video of the series. Uh, first we're going to start installing and setting up the environment that we need to develop the blocks and then we're going to build a very basic block hello world example and then we're going to start over and create a much more complicated real world example of a block. I'm going to try to uh, keep the videos short and to the point so let's get started.